Hello everybody, I'm Karuna and welcome you again in our attack. So now we are going to start with a new video series and in this video series we are just going to talk about the uh, uh, basic components, uh, hardware components which are we are going to use in our embedded systems. So in this video we are not going to deep in too much, we will just see how to execute those uh, components, how to run those components. We are not going to see about the how how they work, we just going to run those components. So we are starting with the LED. Uh, LED is means uh, the light emitting diode. It's the acronym of light emitting diode. And uh, if you will see, it's just a diode. And this is a symbol of diode. And there is the light emitting symbol. So that's how this is. This works. This is nothing but the diode only. So if you remember, the diode works in two ways, and uh, that is one is forward bias, and the second one is reverse bias. Suppose I am applying the positive positive and negative to negative terminal so this is your anode this is your cathode and i am applying negative to negative and positive to positive then my led will glow now if i'm reversing the battery polarity so i'm giving negative to the positive and positive to negative of course this is not gonna work so this will be like a, a reverse bias kind of means this is not gonna work means uh, it will be like an open circuit so it's this is not gonna execute this so, 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 so this is how the LED works. Now, I'm going to explain you the concept of the common cathode and common anode, and how to interface these LEDs with the microcontroller. So, guys, to uh, run any LED, we need to give the supply, but before it, we need to give some resistance of something 300 ohms or approximately this value 300 ohms. So the, then and then only your uh, LED will work. So in practical in practice, we need to give the resistance over here. So it is the driver circuit uh, for the LED. So suppose I'm using the two LEDs over here. Now what I'm going to show you here, there's a common cathode. How does it work? Common cathode means you have to uh, join those cathode. You have to short those cathode. And you have to give to the negative. Negative stands for the ground. That means the zero binary in the digital term. And you have to give positive value. Suppose if I am giving positive value over here. So only this value, this LED will glow, not this one. And even if it, suppose I am giving negative or zero logic over here. Suppose I am going to call this one. One means five volts and zero means zero volts. So I am going to give 5 volt over here, then this LED will glow and this will not glow. And if I am going to give the 1 to both the LEDs, then both of the LEDs will glow simultaneously. So this is how common cathode works. And if you want to work with the common anode, then You need to short the anode over here after the resistance part, and you have to continuously give the logic one, the 5 volt to this, and then you will decide the which LED you have to go. Suppose you want to blow the second LED, then you will apply the ground over here, the zero logic over here, and you will apply the one logic over here. So this is not gonna work because this is not completing your circuit. The completing your circuit is only this one, it is 5 volt and the ground. So only this LED will go. So this is how your common anode and common cathode works. Now guys, we are going to interface our LEDs with the microcontroller. So this is your microcontroller and we are going to use the port one. The port one of microcontroller has the 8 pins that are from the 0, from the 0 to the 7. So suppose this cross are the LEDs, there are 8 LEDs for each pin. And I'm going to do those LEDs as a common cathode. So, so I'm going to give zero to all the LEDs. So these all LEDs are getting ground from the cathode side. Now, suppose uh, I'm doing. I want to just glow this one LED. So I will just apply the one logic over here in this microcontroller. I will apply the logic in the pin one of the port one. So my this LED will glow and rest of the LEDs will be off. Now 
this is how you can make the pattern in the LED. So if you will observe this whole thing, I'm going to write over here. Zero is zero. This one is one. This one is zero. This one is zero. This one is zero, 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 and zero. So this is your pattern for the part one. So if you will apply this logic to the part one, then you will get the this pattern that only one LED is doing. So this is how you can make your pattern. Suppose you want to glow this LED, so you can make this one. So this LED will glow simultaneously. This both LED are glowing. This is how you can make the logic to run the LEDs simultaneously. Now you can not if you don't want to write in this way. So there is another value, the another way that you can uh, use this. That is the hex value. So how to use the hex value? I'm going to tell you. So uh, this is how you can part this binary value. So this is eight values. So you can uh, part in two uh, things like four binaries and four binaries. And how to do that? I'm going to tell you. So guys, just I have told you to you have to divide this uh, eight pins into the four and four means two parts. So suppose you divided this part uh, in four bits and this part, this part in four bits. So suppose you want to uh, glow in here in this way, like uh, you have to glow only one LED means this one. So you have to apply this logic over here. Only one LED is glowing. Suppose you want to apply, uh, you want to. Uh, uh, just off this LED and this tree on then you have to apply this logic over here and you have to do for both then apply both uh, LEDs like 0 triple 1 over here and 0 triple 1 over here so only this three and this three LED will be glowing and these two will be off so now how you can apply this into uh, the programming logic so you can write like this if P1 that stands for the pump 1 equals to Zero cross. This is the permanent, and what is going to change is this. Now suppose you want this thing zero one one zero, then you have to write only six. Now you don't want anything over here, so zero means this four zero means this all these are zero means these are not growing, and only one one zero means these two are growing. So I hope you are getting what I am trying to say over here. So suppose if uh, you want all of the LEDs are glowing, means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, then apply this logic. F, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 means for this and 1, 1, 1 for this. Now, this is how you can do that. Suppose 0 cross, now for this one, first you have to do for this. So all are 1, that's why F. Again here all are 1, that's why F. This is how you can uh, make the LEDs glow and uh, the different different patterns I'm going to show you in the programming language. So we'll see you there. Thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe and if you have any query about this then please ask in the comment box.